There are three different types of Mini. There's the supercharged Cooper S, the normal Cooper, and at the bottom of the range, this one, the Mini One. Ten and a half thousand pounds worth of simple, end of the pier, no nonsense fun. A bit like billing Aquadrome then. Turns out it's a caravan site. Fun for all the family. Star turns every night, go-karts during the day, and peaceful swan pedalo rides in the evening. You can stay here in a caravan, nine pounds a night. Nine pounds. Eleven if you want electricity. And there's a choice of three restaurants. Or you can eat 6 95 Come here, eat chips, have a nice time. Fantastic. 60s living then to suit a 60s car. I was a huge fan of the old Mini and I really thought that BMW would mess this one up, but they haven't. They've actually improved it. The dash is brilliant. I no longer have to drive with my knees wrapped around my ears. And your spine doesn't shatter every time you run over a piece of grit. It's a wonderful, comfortable car. Just brilliant. Of course, because it now has some suspension, it doesn't fly through. cars costing five times more than this, which are five times less of a hoot. You would love this car, and you'd continue to love it even when it was time to sell. Used minis are actually fetching more on the second-hand market than they cost to buy new. So, which model to buy? Well, let me give you a Top Gear top tip. Buy the cheapest one. It has exactly the same single overhead camshaft, 1.6 litre engine as the Cooper. The only difference is a little tiny chip in the onboard computer. So you buy the cheap car, you save 1300 quid, and then you change the chip. That'll cost you 385 pounds. I just saved you a thousand pounds. But should you take me up on it? Should you buy a Mini at all? You see, the wheelbase on this car, the distance between the back wheels and the front ones, is exactly the same as it is on a Land Rover Discovery. So where's all the space gone? There's tons in the front, but if you look in the back, there's absolutely no legroom at all. And while the new Mini has a hatchback, the old one didn't, of course, look at the size of its boot. In the old Mini, Blue Peter used to be able to get 42 Boy Scouts in the back, but we can't even get, look at this, one BBC sound recorder. In fact, we can't even get his leg, and he's not a big lad, really. That really is hopeless. And you know, if a Martian came to Earth, and you explained what you could normally get into a car of this size, four doors, space for all the family, space for the dog, he'd say, what's a dog? And then when he'd explain that, he'd say, well, plainly, this is hopeless. <laughs>